Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we will learn very very beautiful crochet pattern. So let's start with our project. We will start with a slip knot. And now we will make four chains. One, two, three, and four. Now we will make a slip stitch. We'll go to the first chain, we'll go back, yarn over, we'll come back, and now from this loop also we'll take our yarn. So now we got this center part. We'll have to work this in the center ring. We will make one chain and we will increase this loop. Now yarn over, we'll go back, yarn over, we'll come back. So we did it twice. One, two, three and four. Now yarn over from all these loops and now from the top we lock it with a chain so we've got our one petal or we can call it a popcorn stitch now we'll make one two and three chains and now yarn over again we'll come here in the center ring yarn over we'll come back and like this we'll increase our loop now again we'll make it four times one two three and four times yarn over this yarn from all these loops slowly and now from this chain also and now we we'll lock this popcorn stitch with a chain right now we got two likewise we'll have to make total six right so we will make one more one two three chains and now again yarn over from this ring okay one two three and four yarn over now like this like this and now one chain to lock this stitch so we got three and in this ring only we'll make another three when we'll complete total six i'll see you all at that time now we have made total six one two three four five and six now again we'll make three chains and now we'll make a slip stitch at the top of this popcorn stitch here this is that this at this part we'll go back from here yarn over come back and now we'll make a slip stitch like this so I hope it is clear up to here now we'll make one more stitch here and we'll come here like this with a slip stitch so we are at this point here okay now this is our first part complete now we'll take another yarn what we'll be doing i'll tie a knot here there are many ways you can use any method you want so whatever method suits you you can use that so right now we are making a you know knot here like this and then back with the loop in our hook and now what we'll be doing we'll leave this wool and we'll be holding this wool in our hand yarn over and now we have another wool in our hand okay now we'll tight it by stretching both the wools like this and now what we'll be doing we'll make single crochet now we'll make half double crochet now we will make three double crochets one 
two three double crochets and now we'll again make half double crochet in half double crochet at one time only we take our yarn from all these three loops okay and now we'll make a single crochet this is our first part complete while working we are stitching this remaining wool in our work like this here okay but this wool we will be using again in our project so it will be there we are not cutting it right now now we will come here by making a single crochet and now again we will make half double crochet now we will make three double crochet so one double crochet second double crochet third double crochet and now we will make half double crochet and now we'll make single crochet like this so we'll repeat this pattern and we'll make it total one two three four five six so two we already made and now how we are coming to the next loop by making a single crochet single crochet half double crochet three double crochets half double crochet and single crochet so let us finish it and we'll see you all at this point so we have completed our round all around and now we'll make a slip stitch we'll make a slip stitch at this point like this okay in this first stitch we, we made a slip stitch now what next now we will be holding our yarn we'll go back okay we are going back and if you will see that this is this part these all these parts at these parts what we'll be doing yarn this yarn is in our hand and now we'll go back with our hook like this and we'll come back like this can you see from these two places and we'll make we'll come like this back and we'll make a slip stitch now we are at the back part okay keep this yarn like this at this point and make one two three four chains and now go to the next part here at this point how we are doing we are going like this can you see this place here we are here and now at this point at this point like this we are going back and we are making a slip stitch one two three four chains and now we are going to the next like this we are going coming back and making a slip stitch so how many we made we made two right now so we'll have to make all around okay let us complete all around and then i'll see you all at that time now we have reached here we made all around okay can you see we have made all around and now we have reached to the starting point now we'll make we'll go to the first chain here this is the first chain okay we'll come here like this and we'll make a slip stitch at the first chain so we got 
our second round also and now at this point we are in the back right now what we will be doing we will add our next color okay we are using three colors in this project so now i am adding another color which is yellow so what i will be doing again the same way i will take out my hook okay and at this point at this first chain this is my first chain here i will tie a knot okay you can tie twice no problem it will make it it even more stronger and now what we'll be doing now this yarn is in our hand and now we'll work with this yarn is it okay make a single crochet to make it even more strong now for single crochet we already made now we'll make one half double crochet here we made three uh, double crochets now in this we will make five double crochets okay so this is our one double crochet second double crochet third double crochet fourth double crochet fifth double crochet one half double crochet and finally one single crochet okay now again we'll come to the next part and now what we'll be doing one half double crochet five double crochets one this is second third fourth and this is our fifth double crochet and now one half double crochet and one single crochet so we'll be making like this one single crochet one half double crochet five double crochets again one half double crochet and one single crochet we'll come to the next by making one single crochet so can we complete it all around let us complete it and i'll see you all at this point and now we have reached here finally and now we'll again make a slip stitch at this point in the start first chain which we make single crochet here at this point okay now we'll again turn our project and we'll keep our yarns at this side and now again we will be making the same thing by going in the back okay here okay and now from this point we'll take it and we'll make a slip stitch see it is easy okay we'll make five chains one two three four five chains we'll come to the next here from here okay from this point and now we'll go back at this point and like this one two three four five again at this point okay at this point we'll go like this and come back and now from this loop also we'll take our hook like this so we how many we made right now one and two so we'll have to complete all around and i'll see you all at this point 
and now we have reached here and again we'll make a slip stitch at the first chain okay now uh, this part is also ready and our flower is two layer of flowers is ready okay now what next now we have all three wools in our hand okay now we'll start our project with whatever color you want you can use that choice is all yours if you want to follow the pattern this color this color and this color or if you want blue color yellow color whatever pattern uh, pattern you want you can use now we'll use this color okay we are using this color all the wools are there in our hand always try to keep this part of these wools this side because you know we'll have to start using from here only so now we'll come here we'll come here by making a slip stitch in this loop and now what we'll be making one two and three chains yarn over will come here one double crochet yarn over second double crochet and now one two and three chains and now at this point again at this loop same loop we'll make three double crochets one two three double crochets yarn over now we'll come to this next loop three double crochets one two three double crochets three chains and yarn over again here we'll make one two and three double crochets yarn over we'll come to the next loop and same we'll be doing three double crochets three chains and three double crochets okay we made one double crochet and we'll make two double crochets more so we got total three double crochets three chains and again here we'll make one two and three double crochets so can we do that all around so let us complete that and i'll see you all at this point okay when we'll complete all this sides now we have re completed our round and now we will make a slip stitch on the third chain from bottom this is my third chain from bottom i'll make a slip stitch here and now i got how many corners one two three four five and six so i got six corners in my this beautiful pattern so i got flower and I got six corners this is my beautiful hexagon now what I will be doing I will these are three chains and this is one double crochet so I'll go to the top of this next double crochet by making a slip stitch okay and now what I'll make one two three chains now yarn over on the next double crochet here on the top of next double crochet i'll make one double crochet yarn over i'll come here and two double crochets one two three chains yarn over here one double crochet second double crochet yarn over this is one double crochet here the top part of this first double crochet is this okay and now the top part of second is this 
so if you observe, have observed that i did not make anything on these three chains i came to the next double crochet and i made three chains on the next double crochet right i left this first three chains which we can consider as one double crochet so now here also i will leave this double crochet i will not work on this also i will not work on this so the first part this first part and the last part we are not working okay this first and last part we are not working so again in these three double crochets and co uh, this three chains and three double co crochets this is the first and this is the last okay first and last we are we will not work in these so this is the last double crochet we will not work this is the first double crochet we will not work so one and two will leave and will come here okay and we'll make here our one double crochet so this one and this one we are not working so we are coming here on next and now here and now in this corner we are making one and two double crochets okay and now what we are doing we are making three chains one two three chains yarn over in this corner one double crochet and second double crochet yarn over at this part one double crochet and now on the second double crochet we'll make one more double crochet and now as you know we have discussed already we will not work on these two okay so we are not working in in this one and in this one and we are coming here So we made four double crochets three chains and now again we'll make four double crochets out of four two ha two double crochets are here in this part and two double crochets are on the top of next two double crochets here and we are never working on these two okay we are never working on these two so can we finish it all around like the same pattern so let us finish and i'll see you all at this point now we have completed our round now if you will see that we have reached at this point that we have made two double crochets on the top of two and third as you know we are never making so these two we didn't made anything now we'll make a slip stitch on this third chain one two and this is the third chain here and we'll close this round okay now after making this slip stitch what we'll be doing as you know we are never working on these two double crochets right you know we are not working in these two double crochets here also so in this round also we will not work in these double crochets here okay these two double crochets so what we will do we will come to this next double crochet by making a slip stitch clear now what we are doing we will be changing the wool i'll take this color now because after this we are using this color so okay so now after what we'll be doing we will take this blue yarn and we will start working with this okay we'll tie this previous color like this and now we'll make three chains one two three chains yarn over we, we didn't work here okay we are here we made three chains now we'll go to the next double crochet and we'll make one double crochet and on the next again we'll make one more double crochet yarn over we'll come here what we are doing here all the time we are making two double crochets we are making three chains one two and three chains yarn over in this only we are making two double crochets one and two double crochets yarn over and now we'll make one double crochet here second here 
and third at this point but we will not work in these two as you know in previous round also we discussed so yarn over we will skip one we will skip two and we will work on this third one one double crochet second third fourth fifth double crochet so here how many double crochets we had one two three four and now here we are having one two three four five okay now we will make one two and three chains yarn over and again in this two double crochets and now we'll make here one two and three we will not work in these two okay and now we'll come here by making a double crochet like this okay so we'll complete this round like this up to here and I'll see you all at this point. Now we have made up to here and will not be making anything on this and this. So we'll be making a slip stitch on the third chain. This is my third chain. Here we'll be making a slip stitch and our this round is complete. Okay. Now we'll make as we made two layers of this color so let us make two layers of this color also and what we'll be doing for that we will come to the next double crochet and we'll make one two and three chains yarn over and we'll make one double crochet on each double crochet like this and now here We'll be making two double crochets three chains yarn over and at this point again two double crochets and one double crochet on the top of each So here we are making one, two, three, and this is our fourth double crochet. And now we will not work on these two yarn over. We'll come to the next directly. So can you see our this round how it is gonna make all around? Okay. So let us complete it the same way that we'll make double crochet will not make anything and remaining all one two three four points will make double crochet and two double crochets in this part three chains and again two double crochets so let us complete all around and i'll see you all at this point okay now we have reached to this point where we will not make anything okay in these two and we have completed up to here and now we'll make a slip stitch here on the third chain we made three chains in the start so on the third chain from bottom will make a slip stitch and now our this part is complete but we'll have to make one more thing what that will have we will not work on this so we'll make a will come here on this double crochet by making a slip stitch and now we are completely done with this round isn't it really beautiful i liked it i hope you also liked it now let us change the color and the changing of color will be the same we'll take next wool and we'll come here we'll tie this blue stitch and now we'll make one two and three chains and now we'll if we, we didn't made anything here here we made three chains and now at this point one double crochet one we'll consider this as one double crochet so let us count it second double crochet third 
fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Have you noticed one thing that in the start here we had three double crochets right here in the start then we had one two three fourth double, four double crochets in the next we had one two three four five double crochets next six double crochets and now how many we have one two three four five six seven so in every next round this side is increasing by one double crochet right so here we have seven double crochets and now what we'll be doing we'll make one two three chains and now in this part again we'll make one double crochet and two double crochets right and now as our project is in you know growing it is becoming a little heavy so we'll have to you know we'll start rotating it so that it will be easy for us to work so yarn over and now we'll make so how many we made till now we made one two three double crochets and now this is fourth fifth sixth and this will be our seventh so when you know whenever i'm making it i make sure to count then it is you know double sure that I'm, i'll not make any mistake by you know making something here you know i don't want to make any double crochet on these two as we are not making because you know we want this you know when we are making a hexagon so we want these corners we also want a low point you know if we want high point we want a low point so when we are not making on these we are making a low point right so we are not making anything on these two so we are coming here and directly we are making a double crochet one two three four five six and seven then we'll make one two three chains so can we make like this all around let us complete it first and we'll meet you at this point at what point at this point because we are never making on this so we'll see you at this point right now if you can see this is turning out to be really really beautiful we have made this up to here and you all know that we don't make anything on these two double crochets so let us make a slip stitch on the third chain from bottom and now we'll come to this point and we'll make three chains we'll make two layer of yellow color because every time we are making two layer and you know how to make this round let us make this for you we are not making anything on this we are here we made three chains and now on this this will count as one double crochet this is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is the eighth double crochet one two three chains yarn over and we will make three two double crochets here Now this will be third double crochet, fourth and this is fifth, sixth. As you know, I like counting. I know eighth will be my last on this side. This is seventh and this will be 
एट सो दीज टू आई विल नॉट मेक बिकॉज आई नो वी आर मेकिंग एट ऑन दिस साइड सो फ्रॉम हेयर वेन आई विल स्टार्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दिस मेक्स मी डबल श्योर दैट आई डोंट एंड अप मेकिंग एनी थिंग इन दिस बिकॉज वेन वी गो फर्दर एंड इफ विल बाय मिस्टेक मेक वन एक्स्ट्रा स्टिच हेयर देन इट विल कीप ऑन एडिंग ऑन फर्दर रोज एंड इट विल यू नो स्पॉइल द शेप ऑफ ओवर एक्सागन सो यान ओवर विल स्कीप दिस वन दिस वन एंड विल कम हेयर सो कैन यू मेक इट नाउ लेट अस कंप्लीट इट एंड देन विल मेक अ स्लिप स्टिच इन द एंड एंड आई नो बाय नाउ यू नो हाउ टू मेक द स्लिप स्टिच इन द लास्ट of our round so two double crochet is here one two and three chains here so we'll complete it and we'll when we'll reach here at uh, at this point we'll make double crochet and directly we'll make a slip stitch here okay we'll make a slip stitch on the third chain from bottom so i want to see you all here with a slip stitch okay let us complete it and then we'll meet here can you see our hexagon or six point star blanket pattern is getting ready isn't it beautiful this is really very beautiful now what next we'll be doing you made this slip stitch now whatever the size you want you can keep on making you will come here you will make a slip stitch and now after yellow which color we are using we will start using this color it should look symmetric right now we will follow the color pattern also now we will tie this yarn yellow color and now will make three chains 1 2 and 3 and we'll keep on making like this endless only thing we'll have to focus when we are making that we will never make on these two on these two joints okay we'll never make anything on these two joints here at these points okay we are not making in these two and we are adding two double crochets three chains and two double crochets here that's it we'll have to keep in mind make your beautiful crochet pattern use it anywhere make a cover for a fruit basket make your table cover make your beautiful pillow cover make a baby blanket make whatever you want to make using this beautiful pattern i'm telling you this is coming out to be really really beautiful i tried my best to explain it in the simplest method and i hope you like this video i want you all to try this method and i want you all to please subscribe my channel share it with your friends and family members and keep crocheting also the most important part of this video i would want to convey my message to you all Take your care and come back again. Bye bye.